Hi, I'm Toke Diz. Today we're taking a look at the 1958 Disneyland map. In our previous video, we took a look at what's outside Disneyland. After buying our ticket books, we're ready to enter the park. Main Street looks pretty much the same now as it was in 1958, but a lot of stores were different. On the left side, Town Hall and the fire station were the same, but there was a police station. Next to the fire station was Beacon's Van and Storage Locker Service. This is where the guest lockers were located. The building is now part of the Emporium. On the other side of the Emporium, there was a glass blower, bookshop, crystal arcade, candle shop, and Up John Pharmacy. The pharmacy did not sell anything, but had a display of apothecary jars and even a jar of live leeches. The Up John Pharmacy is now the Fortuosity Shop. Across the way is the Carnation Ice Cream Parlor, which was an authentic ice cream parlor with counter seating. Carnation was known for its ice cream but now it mainly sells evaporated milk in stores. There was a jellies and jam store and the Puffin Bake Shop. This is now the location of the Gibson Girl Ice Cream Shop. The Penny Arcade had real old time kinetoscopes. They were machines that flipped pictures so they looked like movies and other old time amusement machines. Also nearby was a hat shop and a shooting gallery. I've never seen pictures of the shooting gallery, but there were shooting galleries in Adventureland and Frontierland, and the latter still exist today. Going back to the front of Main Street on the right side, we see the Bank of America, which was a real working bank. It's now the Disney Gallery. Next to it was Town Square Realty. Not sure what this was all about. Next was the Opera House, which I don't think was occupied at this time, but a clue to future plans was show business. The Opera House building served as the lumber mill during the construction of Disneyland. Next was the print shop. For years, Disneyland had its own newspaper that was given out to guests. And I remember you could print your name on the front page. The Strollers and Wheelchair Store is now the Mad Hatter Hat Shop. Across from that was a coffee house where you could get breakfast. It was first sponsored by Hills Brother, then later by Maxwell House. The Wurlitzer Music Hall had displays of Wurlitzer organs, and an organist would play songs throughout the day for guests. Next to that was the Magic Shop, which still exists today, and a tobacco shop. The Main Street Cinema showed old silent movies like Charlie Chaplin and the Keystone Cops. Now it shows only Mickey Mouse cartoons. Next was the Yale and Town Lock Shop and the Swift Market House. Swift is a meat packing company and the Market House featured coffee, a pickle barrel, a checkers board for people to play, and a party line telephone that you could listen in on a recorded conversation. It is now the location of Starbucks. Going on, we see the Gibson Greeting Card Shop, Coin Shop, Men's Shop, Art Gallery, Photo Gallery, and Wonderland Music Store. Next was the Eastman Camera Shop. Walt's friend, Art Linkletter, who hosted Disneyland's opening day telecast, had the concession for selling cameras and film for 10 years in the park. Then we see the Timex Clock Shop, Silhouette Studio, Ruggles China and Glass, the Pablum 
Baby Station, and the insurance companies of North America Carefree Corner. The Carefree Corner had a guest book for every state for people to sign. In the plaza area at the end of Main Street, we see Pavilion, later called Plaza Pavilion, and now the Jolly Holiday Restaurant. Near the castle was the Carnation Plaza Gardens, where they sold burgers and ice cream, and big band musicians like Count Basie, Cab Calloway, and Duke Ellington used to play for swing dancers at night. On the other side of the plaza was the Swift Red Wagon Inn, which later became the Plaza Inn Restaurant, which was one of Walt's favorite restaurants at Disneyland. So that's our tour of Main Street in 1958. Next time, we'll take a look at the never-built lands of Liberty Street and Edison Square. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. See you real soon. Also, we're artists. We have t-shirt designs featuring alphabet animals called Cubby Tunes. Check out our Etsy store by searching Cubby Tunes, one word, on Etsy.com or click the link below. Thanks a lot.